morning and welcome to the vlog. Swapped the green fields that were soaking wet for white ones. There's Cammy. Morning. Morning. There'll be a few bits from here and then we'll get that back to the farm, back to the coos and we're on holiday for a week. This is where I am, in the Alps, snowboarding. It is lovely. Can I get that on video? <laughs> this fella's just binned it. This is where all the, everyone starts here, so of all standards come down this slope. So when you're coming up here, there's always some serious big crashes. It's a good viewing platform if you've got a window in here. Big man, this is Fraz. He's pretty quick. PB of about 84 kilometers an hour. There he goes. The big lanky bandit. Hey, hey! I use my arms a lot to balance, and filming and doing this is tricky. I keep almost stacking it. The issue with snowboarding, when you're in the flats, you've not got poles. a bit of air off of here. Wish me luck. <sighs> Probably looks quite pathetic. Don't know if you can hear me, but we're at about 3,400 feet. And what, they've just slammed some engineering. Massive concrete blocks to pin it in. Incredible, that just hangs off the edge of the cliff. Massive anchor points down here. I'd love to know how much concrete's been poured in this block and how do they pour concrete at 3,400 feet? Nuts. These massive gas bottles, that's for um, the avalanche cannons, compressed air, and they blast it out so that any snow that's potential to slip, the vibrations let it slip before someone on skis or snowboards goes over it and makes it slip. The engineering at this height is incredible. Look at that. Absolutely wild. So we just got a car it comes up here and you walk on this platform. And it's a grated mesh so you can just see a 50 foot drop below you. And then you walk down this wee tunnel and here we are. It's big man Fraz. Here's a wee clip of Fraz wiping out. <laughs> Dreamed about this his whole life. Oh f That's where we're staying. Just right on the end of my finger there. That's Mont Blanc there. Here's all the mountains that kind of gives you a ridge line and shows you what each peak is. You can't quite see most of them. The only one you can see is Mont Blanc right there. Zoom in. Massive amounts of hydropower in the Alps. You can see the dam there. Run that water through a turbine, generate the electricity. Jobs are good in. This is a massive ballast block and as the gondola moves up into place and takes the tension off these wires, this block shifts. There you go, it's going up, it's up. So as the gondola's just come in and the weight's come off the wires, and this is going up. That's cool. I can't quite figure it all out in my head right now, but that's cool. Greg, who is on the same courses as us at uni, mechanical engineering, said, why can they not teach us this shit at uni? <laughs> this is something exactly, good. this is cool. Rather than loads of maths. Absolutely amazing. That's that big ballast I was talking about. If anyone knows a lot more about this stuff, Put it down in the comments below, it's very interesting, I like this sort of stuff. And then there's just a massive drop off of that edge off the, off the cliff. This is Valterin, this is where we're staying, and where I was just talking about, where I just was, 
was right up there. Some wild engineering. Ski holiday done. Back to the farm tomorrow. They've got some cool kit around here. They don't mess about. Big snow chains to muck about. They've got attachments on the front of big snow plows and the big hydraulically driven snow plows. I'll see if I can find one. Big Hitachi loader up there with a big hydraulic um, snow pusher on it. Last day, I'm just going to film a couple of these machines kicking about. An hour till our taxi arrives and then we're home. All the uni ski buses are clearing out. When I was at uni, got the ski bus, ski bus once. Miserable, absolutely miserable. 35 hours. Coming here is okay, but on the way back, knackered, hungover for 35 hours. No thanks, but you have to do it once to realise how bad it is. It's Valteren I'm in. Just bought a cap. We got Jesus. That's where I fell. It's a fair bit of skill in driving these machines, remembering where the roads are. That's what we need when the snow comes. Don't eat yellow snow. Right, I'm home now um, after a flight back, which all oh, went smoothly actually. Big pile of steel that's arrived, which is perfect. Got a project coming up. I'll maybe start that tomorrow. I don't know what's going on. I need to see what Dad's saying to it. Good morning. Holidays are over. That's by far my favourite holiday is going skiing, snowboarding. No thinking involved. You wake up, you go skiing all day. You drink a few beers, sometimes a lot of beers. You go to bed, you wake up, you do it again. And you do it for seven days and then you go home. Job done. Here's a big lad. Not seen him for a week. There's some things arrived. You can probably guess what I'm going to be building now. Some collars, some tapered collars for those spikes. Smashing. Kev's obviously been servicing the ply, put some new metal on it. Got it inside out of the horrible weather. Lie down. Good boy, stay. Baxter. Good boy. So all the spikes, the collars and the steel, it's for a stone grate that I'm going to build. Um, so that's why I've ordered that pile of steel. There's a sheet there that I need to cut up to make brackets and whatnot for other bits. I'm just coming down to get some measurements. I don't have a mag drill um, to drill all the holes out here. I could get a mag drill for 700 quid or something, but I'm going to see if I can take it to a plasma cutter and just get the holes. So I need 17 holes this diameter drilled all the way through. It'll be more accurate, less chance of all the bale spikes pointing in all the wrong directions. So what you do with these, so these are tapered collets. So you can see it's a lot chunkier. There's a smaller hole at this end than that end. And they, you drill a hole at this side, you drill a hole at that side, and they sit all the way through the steel like that. You weld it in, and then you can put your bale spikes through these with a bolt at this end. And then the bale spike will sit out like this and you do it all the way along the piece of steel and then you get your spike sticking out first off i need to get this plasma cut to these size of holes if i was going to do it with a mag drill i would oversize it fractionally so i've got a wee bit of leeway in moving these when i tack them into place so they're all straight but it's just going to be easier and i don't need to spend 700 quid on a mag drill so i'll take it to a plasma cutter see what they're going to be to drill it's only 17 holes well it's actually 34 holes one from each side i have never made a stone grate before i will probably do something wrong as with anything i make the reason i'm building a stone grate is because we have got a new attachment to the back of the tractor ordered there's the bale spikes so the tapered collar goes on there so you take this nut off jesus it's welded on there there we go put this on and you put the nut back on and this will be sitting through the box of steel. And that goes right the way down. The edge of the nut is tapered there to this slot. So it tightens it all up and there's no loosey goosey movement in this tine. Right, make a quick drawing for the machinist, hopefully. Right, I think my drawing's ready. Really could do with a bit of CAD software, but I don't have any at the moment. Sunday today, so hopefully I'll take this round tomorrow and fingers crossed and get it done tomorrow. But. Don't know how busy these guys are at the moment. So the actual stone grape is just going to be a backboard with uprights through it. And this bottom edge 
that piece there is what I've drawn there and all these holes are where the spikes are going to be there's going to be 13 spikes along the base and two up the side so 13 two up the sides two up that side and then that makes up your kind of U shaped where your spikes are and all your stones sit in here the grand plan is it looks a bit better than that drawing but probably not much better Thanks for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Won't we, Baxter?